how do we install NetViva Developer Studio? Um, and I think we should be able to do that. Um, so uh, I do here have a my system. So here I have uh, my developer system. We have a download. So here we have downloaded all the different uh, components required for um, for. So we downloaded the service pack, and a part of this is this uh, zip file. Uh, I hope you can see the the name of this. So uh, uh, let me have a developer studio file. Is something like this obviously depending on version of support pack and stuff like that uh, once you open this uh, in, uh, in in your zip browser you see there's a folder called Eclipse and what you do is you then just unzip this file into a directory um, and I have done that already um, so I have here Daniel here that's a uh, so here I think this is the uh, Eclipse version then you want to go into this called Eclipse INI and here the first parameter you need to ask add is a VM uh, and then the name of your JVM and then I think in the beginning when you have this all of these are on one line once you start it up it would uh, put these into to multiple different lines um, and if you don't have the right Java version or anything like that, I guess it would uh, would not work. Um, so you simply install uh, JDK. Go to to s I don't know where you're installing it now. I guess ja uh, Java dot com would be a good place. Um, download uh, I guess this should be a place where I could get a uh, JDK maybe you wanna just search for JDK uh, okay Oracle technology and then you wanna I think you wanna download the the SE8 if it is here so you got this one number 8 you would uh, download this, install it on some uh, system locally. Um, then you would go into to that, that folder. Uh, so you would find on your C drive wherever it's installed. You would find the, the Java folder. Uh, so, so we got this JDK. And then you just want to put this into to uh, this this file as as the VM parameter, and then you just start it up, and it should show you the 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 splash screen. If this is not the case, um, I think a, a good idea is uh, to start it from to open my console. So in, in Windows, go to CMD command D. Oh, uh, E drive. C. Go to the folder uh, where you have the Eclipse installed. And then you just want to run the the Eclipse, and if there's anything going on, you would be able to to see what it logs here. Otherwise, it also have a uh, a log folder that you'd be able to see. Maybe that is in the workspace you would create where it has a log about. Uh, what was starting up and what was the problem but I would imagine that it's this thing that you don't have a Java installed on your system and I guess in a lot of enterprise machines you don't have that so it can be a little challenging getting a J JDK uh, installed uh, the other approach is you can go to 
uh, is a PJDK8. Uh, find that one. Install SAP JVM. Uh, so there's something about how you install it. Uh, downloading. Yeah. Can't remember where you're getting this from, but I guess it, it would say somewhere here that you can just. Uh, go to one of these nodes and, and find the... Uh